we're going to go take a little a hike without the dogs because they're little and they can't go as far and I want to get a real hike in. down here around the marina is a path over here and uh, just kind of get away from people a little bit not that they've been a nuisance or bothering me I just kind of need to be alone this is nicer in a way Sorry, I zipped up my zipper. This is nicer in a way than uh, rest areas and truck stops because I get all this, which is cool. But I also get uh, kids <laughs> and lots of people talking loudly and stuff like that. But you know what? It wasn't too bad. Last night was nice and quiet. Everybody went in rather early. Plus it's cold, so I suppose that makes people go in a little sooner as well. What do I see up ahead? What is that? Oh, it's a building. <laughs> I thought it was a yacht. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Why would there be a yacht here? <laughs> it's funny. Today I'm using the gimbal along with my action camera. My uh, DJ, my DJI Osmo action camera. They have the uh, Action 3 out, kind of on the fence about it. Do I really need another action camera? Probably not. I already have this one and I have a, an older model of another type, the IT5E, which I haven't used in ages. And I thought I would use it uh, in the van for travel, but I haven't set it up yet. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was a trail to take me out, but apparently it is not. And I don't think there's any way to really cross it. Hmm. I guess I'll have to walk through the woods and... Getting used to this gimbal, I hardly ever use it. I bought it, I should use it. Actually, I bought it to use for RV tours when I go to uh, places that sell RVs. I like to tour them and share them. Okay, let's cut through the woods over here. A spider web with danglies. <laughs> Nature's curtain. I recommend. I, I I reckon. Recommend. I don't even know what I'm saying. There's a squirrel. This place is full of squirrels, but they're really tiny, tiny little things. It's kind of weird. Okay, I see some uh, pricklies. Don't want to run into these thorns because they kind of hurt. Would have been easier to just walk the road. <laughs> but I didn't know that path did that. 
I thought it was went out to the road, but nope, it doesn't. What well, does? But if you can walk on water, it'd be great. I haven't mastered that. Looks like I can cross right here. Alrighty, made it out safe and in one piece. <laughs> somebody's is that a cabin is it somebody's place it looks like it'd be somebody's place doesn't it yeah it's somebody's place it has a mailbox probably park staff yeah it says private drive so imagine the park staff live down this way it's a cool Kind of like where my mom lives. Park staff lives there in a certain section also. It was pretty last night. I took uh, some video of the sunset on the lake. Isn't that pretty? They do have warning signs of gators. It's kind of cold though. And uh, this is Mississippi, so I don't know if Mississippi has as many gators as Louisiana. However, this is uh, southern Mississippi, so it's possible. All right, let's walk the plank. Better be looking at these boards <laughs> instead of the camera. They look good though. It would suck, wouldn't it? Camera's waterproof. <laughs> Am I? Uh, kind of, but no. I don't like water. <laughs> Not that way. Oh yeah, see, there's a... Ah, there's a broken board right there. So... Should I go out any further? You know what, I'm not going to because I don't know how safe this is. I mean, they have replaced some boards, like right here. But still, yeah, we're not going. We're not going, we'll walk down to the marina. Although somebody just pulled up there, yep, see there? another rotten board. So no, not a good idea. Yeah, these boards aren't in the best condition. Boat must be ready to launch before entering boat ramp. Is that a restroom? I think so. Yeah, it's a restroom. And uh, I believe this is a spillway. I'm not sure what's considered the spillway, but it must be this. There's the boat ramp over here. Looks like they're doing some work over here. Okay, and that road's closed. Yeah. Oh, a fish cleaning station. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. 
Makes it nice for the fishermen. Emergency numbers. That's good to have. You know, when you stay in places like this, might be a good idea to take pictures just in case. In case there is an emergency. Here is the ladies' room up here on the hill. It's two sinks and a one big toilet stall normal toilets, plumbed toilet, toilets that is, and they actually have toilet paper, the one down by me is running out of toilet paper. <laughs> Let's go check out the marina. Oh, it's all locked up anyhow. Marina members only, so they would have a key to that lock. Very cool. Okay, let's go explore some of the other parts of the park. Cute little dog over there. And of course, I'm on that side of the park over there. Don't think you could see my van from here with this tiny camera. You can't even see it with my eyes. <laughs> and there is my van right smack in the middle between those trees. Okay. I am van dwelling. <laughs> It's kind of fun, but right now it could be more fun if I didn't have so much junk in my van. When I get back, I'm going to unload a lot of stuff because I have summer stuff and I have winter stuff in there. I'm not a van dweller. I'm just traveling in it. I was uh, in the process of getting the motorhome road ready and I had to leave more like on an emergency basis. So grabbed the van and ran. And uh, it's okay. I mean, I had to use it for a normal vehicle anyhow. While I was at home taking my mother to doctor's appointments and such, it's hard for her to get in the van, but we figured out a system that worked. However, she's still not thrilled about riding in the van. And uh, the motorhome, no, I wouldn't have been able to take her to the doctor's appointments and everything in it. She would have an even more difficult time getting in the motorhome. So, and next year I told her I'd come home at the end of March. So when I get back, I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of purging and such to do. Get rid of the old Dodge van. So I gotta get that taken care of get sold what I can sell save that money for other purposes and uh, leave the RV park put the storage in Twinkies put the storage in Twinkie, put the Twinkie in storage somewhere and uh, leave the park because there's no point in paying rent when I'm not living there
Over here we have a magnolia tree. Wow, I think it's a magnolia. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. It's a magnolia. It's just really big. Wow, ours don't get that big. And it is <laughs> little tiny church over here. It's cute. Okay, here's some signs. Okay, this is the Wayside Chapel. I think they actually do do services outside here. Man's journey through life is sustained by the power of his faith in God. Amen. Check out this little chapel, it's cute. It has a little paved stone area, which is uh, full of pine needles right now, as is my van. There's a little sitting area over here. Look how cute that is. It's adorable. I would imagine the preacher probably stands here and does a sermon, or maybe right here with a podium. More like it, probably. How cute is this building? Look at the steeple. <laughs> See what I mean? Some people talk really, really loud. They're way over there. Please do not lock door. Oh, cool. We can enter. So let's enter it. How cute is this? Okay. Little pews. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Yeah, this is really cute. It smells nice in here too. Look at that. It's awesome. They've got a little heater in here. So I guess, uh, I don't know. They'd still do services. I have a guest book over here. How cute is this place? I can get the glare off. There we go. Certificate assert spiritual birth. This is nice. All righty. Very 
very adorable place. Lots of people out here camping <laughs> and I'm totally lost. <laughs> I don't know where I took a wrong turn yet, but I'm really lost. <laughs> I really went out of my way. My sight is seven. Sight, uh, seven. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> So I guess I'm down this way. Crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Oh, goodness. Okay, keep walking until you find your uh, spot. I am totally lost. <laughs> I don't know where my place is. I don't know where I took a wrong turn at, but I definitely took the wrong turn. And my gimbal died. Maybe I'll get home before dark. <laughs> I can't believe this. Lots of people out this weekend. Imagine most of them are probably staying for Thanksgiving. It's not a weekend. Or is it? I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like Monday or Tuesday. See, I'm so lost. I don't even know what date it is. <laughs> what day it is. I know the date. I just don't know the day. Huh. How much sense does that make? Okay, there's a little church I came upon. So I guess I'll just walk. Oops, just hit a whole walk back down that road. <laughs> Somehow I guess I thought this road coming in was mine. But it wasn't. <laughs>